Since becoming an independent nation in 2002, Timor-Leste does not yet have a formal system for administering land rights. Today, the government of Timor-Leste is taking steps to gather and organise information on land. The Itani Arai project, which translates as Our Land, was created with support from the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, to work with the Ministry of Justice through the National Directorate for Land, Property and Cadastral Services to create a comprehensive database about land ownership in the country. This database, called the National Property Cadaster, will manage information on land and provide a public record of claims to land ownership that will be used by the government as the basis for issuing land titles. Itania Rai will begin collecting data in late 2008. This will be a transparent procedure that will record all land claims. Claimants can be individuals, family groups or communities, or legal entities such as local government or business. Working with the local land and property offices in each district, it will take over two years to collect data nationwide. Itania Rai teams will visit each community and facilitate public meetings to familiarise people with the process and allow them to ask questions. They will inform communities when the scheduled data collection will begin and instruct them in what they need to do to prepare. Claimants will be asked to discuss and agree with their neighbours on where their boundaries are. <laughs> In cases where these boundaries are not yet visible, they will be asked to mark the boundary corners with readily available materials such as stones or pieces of wood. Participants will be encouraged to get agreement on all shared boundaries. When the team comes to collect information, they will ask each claimant or group to show them their boundaries together with their neighbours. The team will record the corners, measure the boundaries and create a sketch of each land parcel. The teams will collect personal identification information from each claimant and help them to make their claim. People will also have the option to have their photograph taken so that it can be saved in the database. Itani Rai will promote women's participation in the process and wherever possible encourage women to be recognised as sole or joint claimants to land. The project is also working to ensure that traditional land sharing practices are respected. Once all the information is collected from a particular zone, the central office will create a map showing all claims in that area. These maps will be displayed locally in a public place, as well as nationally using notice boards, newspapers and the internet. Publication is important to guarantee transparency and all claims will be displayed for at least 30 days. Public display will also allow people to verify their claims as well as those in the communities. During this time, it will be possible to correct any errors or submit counterclaims. In cases where there are disputes, people will be encouraged to solve these locally through discussion with their community. When disputes cannot be solved in this way, Itani Rai will work with project partners, the district land officers and local authorities to facilitate mediation. Once the public display period is over, all claims, including the areas still in dispute, will be recorded in the National Database, which will be open to the public. In the short term, this process can provide individuals and communities with greater land security and confidence to invest in their land for the future. 
In the long term, the government of Timor-Leste will use this database to develop a national land registry and issue titles to private property. This in turn will provide a solid foundation for economic development, increased stability and poverty reduction far into the future.